Sophia, where's Rick, hey? Oh, he's, he's under there. Oh, thanks. You all right? So what's the plan? Like I said, we just have a Today, as soon as I get back. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. Don't you whispering back. Mm, they've got the ump. Don't even sound that come home last night. Mm, sorry. So I ain't happy about it, that's all. Oh, I'm not surprised. I mean, she slept with him the first time she met him. What are you doing here anyway? Just come over to see her. What for? See if you want anything. Well, like what? Well, a cup of tea or anything. Well, just have one. You sure? You've come all the way over it to ask me if I want a cup of tea. Well, we're engaged now, aren't we? Got the car to you. You know, this is being picked up in here, don't it? I'm sorry, Phil. This may have kept on talking. I'm sorry, Phil. She was just going. That's all right. Don't you see enough of each other in your own time? <laughs> So, what's he saying when you told him then? Who? Phil. Told him what? Well, about us being engaged. Well, I ain't had a charge yet. It's been with Grant ever since I've got here. Oh, I'll have to get a ring, you know, so they can see for themselves. Yeah. Can I then get a ring? Well, of course. It's just going to take a while, that's all. Well, I don't want nothing too big. You know, just so people can see. I've seen some really nice ones in my mum's catalogue. Ricky. Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. Look, you better go. We'll talk about it later, eh? Well, look, I'm going over to see my mum in a minute. I can ask her to borrow the catalogue. Yeah, if you want. Look, I've got to finish this. Well, we can look for it together tonight and then we can sort the party out, eh? What party? Oh, Ricky, please, you promised! All right, yes. Look, we'll talk about it later. All right, then I'll go over and see my mum. See you later. All right. Bye, Phil. See ya. Oh, he said I can start looking for a ring and everything. Oh, and then there's the party, innit? I mean, I've got to have a party. Everyone has an engagement party, don't they? Then Miss Savings better save up. I mean, get a little place of our own, a little house or something. It's not that easy, you know, to throw a party by a house. I mean, where are you going to get all the money from? Ricky's working, I can get a job. I mean, it's hardly going to take long to save a deposit now, is it? And what about the wedding? Who'll pay for that? I thought that was up to you and Alan, innit? Bianca, where are we going to get that sort of money? Well, I'm sure you can ask David to help out. I mean, he did for me 18. Oh, 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 over my dead body. Well, me and Ricky can put some towards it. I mean, we don't nothing too fancy. All right, in the last couple of minutes, you've bought a house, thrown a party and paid for a wedding. I, mean, I don't think you thought this through properly. Of course I have, Mum. Listen, when two people love each other, you just find a way. Yeah, well, it might tell you that in your magazines, but in reality, it's a little bit different. I mean, you know, what's happening with his divorce for a start? Sort it out, isn't it? Well, don't you think we should wait until he has? <gasps> you know what? Sometimes I just must be really stupid. What? I just thought you'd be happy for me, that's all. Wow. I just don't want you rushing into anything, not without thinking about it first. Yeah, it's number three again. Okay. Right. Listen, I don't want to pour cold water and everything, Bianca. I just, I just worry about you. You know, it's, it's what mums do. There's no need to worry about me, mum. Ricky loves me, and I love him. That's all that matters, isn't it? So we're going to move back in, eh? Hey? I live next door. Oh. That's up with the governor, mate. What's that? What's that? Oh, there was an explosion. Did anyone what? No, I just don't think so. Mind you, made hell of a bang. Where's everyone else? Over at the Vic. Look, uh, they're not sure if we can get back in there tonight. Can you stay at Rickards? Of course you can. What about the rest of them? For two, please, mate. Two. Me and that. Yeah, I've made that two. Hey? Two twos. Ah. Uh, how are you doing? Thank you very much. Well, hang on, what about us? What about you? But this is stupid. We might as well all eat together. <laughs> Unless anyone's got a problem with that. No, no. I ain't got a problem with it. Good. Well, if you, if you want. No. Have you got a menu, Steve? <laughs> well, it's the waiter's night off, but. Um... <laughs> Most people usually drag themselves to the counter. So, uh, what you got? Well, what's on the board? I can do your steak. Yeah, um, make that two steaks, please. I thought, please. Four steaks. Actually, I think I'll have cheese sauce on mine. Anything to drink? Yeah, it's all right, we bought our own, thanks. Yeah, so have we. Um, you got glasses with that, though, please? Yeah, yeah and uh, corkscrew, please. Right. Start looking for a place of our own, can't we? Yeah. I noticed you haven't got a ring yet. No, well, Ricky don't want some cheap old thing. He wants it to be special, didn't you? We're going to his sister Claire's next week, so I can meet the rest of the family. Oh, that's nice. She's lovely, Claire. I always got on really well with her. 
<laughs> Grub's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, David and I are thinking of going to the Caribbean later in the year. Thinking about getting engaged on the beach or something really romantic. Uh, anyone want my wine? Do you like my jacket? Yes, it's very nice, darling. You bought it for me, remember? Did I? Yeah, remember when me, you and Tiffany went out shopping? Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. I thought you didn't like yellow. Mm, don't mind. You never liked it on me. You said it looked high. No, I didn't. It's gold. It's not yellow. And he loves it, didn't you? Mm. Everything OK? Yeah, that was brilliant, Steve. Do you want a sweet? Uh, have you got any ice cream? Some would. Yeah. Nothing for me, thanks, Steve. Oh, I'll just have a little bit then. Okay. Um, have you got any spotted bit? No, nah, but I can do your treacle pudding. All right, lovely, yeah. And loads of custard, please. All right. Coffees? Yeah. Yeah, it's four, please. So, do you think you two will get married then? Um, well, well, we might do, yeah, why? No, I'm nothing. I just thought if you did, that'd make you my stepmother, wouldn't it? I mean, there's no real reason why we all can't get on, is there? I never said there was. Exactly. Look, I know things are a bit complicated at the minute. You we'll say that again. But if we're adult about this, and everyone stops having digs at each other, well, who knows? We could all get on like house on fire. <sighs> Sorry. But, but you know what I mean, don't you? Well, I'm not the one that started anything. What, are you saying I did? No, of course she's not. Can't she speak for herself? See what I mean? I'm not the one with the problem here. I'm scared of you, man. Bianca. Well, look at her sitting there like she's something special, like she's some big model or something. What, are you jealous? Sam. I'm jealous of you. Right, that's it. We're going. Do you know what, Ricky? She's just what I thought you'd end up with. A little tart. You can't talk to her like that. Oh, but, Ricky, look at her. It's true. She is not a tart. And you've got no right to say that. Whose side are you on? I'm not on any side. I just won't have you talking about her like that, Sam. So it's all right. Everyone can sit here and have a go at me, can they? Yeah. Well, that's what you get, innit, for being a poisonous little bitch. David? All oh, right, so she can talk to me like it, yeah? Fine. Right, Sam, please, don't I'll be stupid, darling. <laughs> Why aren't you going to go after her? It's time she grew up. Well, he's just going to let her go on her own. What are you worrying about her for? Well, he don't. Well, she ain't worth worrying about. Well, what has she ever done to you? Oh, what, well, you're sticking up for her now? Well, you two are just sat here having a go at her. Well, you heard what David said. It's about time she grew up. Well, you haven't exactly been very grown up, have you? Oh, there you go again. What? Sticking up for her. Oh, I'll give up. Please, Payne. <laughs> oh. So much for quiet night in, eh? Maybe you and me should come on our own. It wouldn't have been so exciting, though, would it? Come on, I'll walk you home. You don't have to, you know. I'm staying with you, remember? Oh, of course you are. What, are you going to go and look for Ricky, then? What for? Oh, kiss and make up. No. Did you put on the tart? Of course I don't. She was bang out of order saying that. She is prettier than me, though, isn't she? No, she's not. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. You knock spots off her. What do you mean that? You're better looking. You're kinder. More feminine, like, you know. Any man in his right mind would give his right arm to be with you. I think you've had too much to drink. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be. What you said was lovely. And you know something? You ain't so bad yourself. Right. Right. Hello. Right. Oh,